Okay, so welcome back. We're going to be making a set of DXF drawing files of our pieces for our smart device or our phone device project stand, okay? So here is our assembly drawing or our assembly view of the parts that we're making, okay? So this is what I'm calling the support edge and this is what I'm calling the backrest. So I am going to now go to my part files, my individual part files, and I'm going to select the face that I want to cut out, okay? So remember on the CNC router, it cuts in a two-dimensional world, okay? So we're cutting it from above. So this is the face I want to cut out. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to hit right click. I'm going to choose export face as, okay? And then in my folders, I'm going to make a folder labeled my last name, phone stand. So I'm going to call it Elkins phone stand. Okay, and this is block one, okay? So if you're in block two, you're gonna put block two. If you're in block four, you're gonna put block four. Okay, that's just how we're gonna organize these things. So I'm gonna select that folder, and I'm going to hit backrest, or I'm going to type in back, or excuse me, this is the supporting edge. I made a mistake there. So this is supporting edge, okay? I'm going to make sure the save as type is AutoCAD DXF, and then I'm going to get options here, and I'm going to make sure the file version reads AutoCAD 2004 DXF. I'm going to hit finish in that menu. I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to go to my other piece, my backrest. I'm going to select the edge that I want to cut out. I'm going to hit right click, export face as, I'm going to do the same process as before, except this is going to be called my backrest. Okay, I'm going to go to options, make sure the file version reads AutoCAD 2004, hit finish, hit save, and now we should be all set. So if I go to my DDP folder, and there is my folder that says Elkins phone stand 1 standing for the block that I'm in right now, okay? And there are my two DXF files, okay? And then what we'll do next is we're going to put this on a USB drive and you're going to work with Mr. Elkins to set these files up for cutting.